Welcome to Biofuels Academy. This video is made available as part of the Biofuels Education Project, funded by the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In this video, we want to illustrate the process of pyrolysis. The first step is the pretreatment of the biomass. The efficiency and the nature of the pyrolysis depend on the particle size and the moisture content of the feedstock. The high moisture waste streams require drying, and the feedstock has to be size reduced before being used for pyrolysis. The second step is pyrolysis reaction. The preheated biomass is introduced into the pyrolysis reactor which contains the airlock to keep oxygen and unwanted air out of the reactor. The combustor preheats the pyrolysis reactor and heats the biomass indirectly. In general, pyrolysis of organic substance produces gas and sometimes liquid products and leaves a solid residue, richer in carbon contents char. Pyrolysis differs from other high temperature processes like combustion and hydrolysis in that it usually does not involve reactions with oxygen, water, or any other reagents. The next step is char collection. In this step, the hot row produced gases are introduced into a cyclone separator to remove char. The purified gases are then quenched with cold water. In this step, after the quench water quickly cools down the gases, the bio-oil condenses and deposits at the bottom. Other non-condensable gases are recycled to the combustor in the second step as burning fuel. Finally, the produced bio-oil is stored in an oil tank for further transportation and storage. Some references used in generating the videos are listed here. The members of the project gratefully acknowledge the financial support from the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website at www.biofuelsacademy.org.